three seconds into a hundred thousand dollar truck the gal decides to pull over right in front of me to look at a peacock A smile today folks my buddy ryan is letting us tow test his brand new 2023 laramie high output 3500 just picked it up from him so check out his page north lake forestry they're doing some stuff with some big iron up in high country but what a treat this thing is laramie night edition max horsepower max tow rating of 37,000 pounds and we're gonna go see if we can put that to the test. He was nice enough to offer me this truck before he went and put uh, 19.5s on it, a little bit different size meats. So we're gonna get the factory rating, but as far as the trucks go, this thing cruises like a car. It's awesome. Bet you guys never seen an intro where the truck backed into the frame. It's a new day. And it's a brand new truck. I'm super stoked to be tow testing with this thing today. There's a difference between test driving and tow testing. Test driving is what we just did, driving it back to the house. Felt good, drove nice. But seeing what the truck will actually do with load behind it. Not just any load, we're gonna go ahead and make sure this rig has maximum capacity. We're right there at it. But there's a couple things we gotta add to this truck before we can get the actual max tow rating of 30,000 pounds. Wait, no, it's not 2018 or anymore. 37,000 pounds. If you guys think that's not an uh, insane number for a pickup truck that anybody in the family can drive, you're crazy. That is, that's just mind blowing how much potential these trucks have nowadays. And then show you what we gotta do in order to be able to tow that amount of weight right off the kick. There we go. A little log jammed. Look at the size difference. This and this, I believe, yep, both of these are Kurt. This is a three inch Kurt ball. Where's the rating on it to confirm? 38,000 pound rating on it. Probably wondering, put a bigger gooseneck ball on there. How's that gonna make your trailer rated for more? To tow that kind of weight, your standard gooseneck coupler, gooseneck trailer has always been rated and maxed out at 30,000 pounds. Up until recently, these trucks started towing more than 30,000 pounds. So, trailer manufacturers had to step up to the plate. 40,000 pound rated Diamond C gooseneck trailer. Factory three inch coupler, gotta have that. We're gonna go ahead and detach 225500. things got to mention you need a CDL to tow this kind of weight in fact you need a CDL to even tow this trailer empty technically I have those also this is gonna be our control test right off the kick this is the machine I haul on a regular basis with any of my rigs the machine by itself is 22,000 pounds but it's got a counterweight rotobet grapple 
So you're over 23, 24,000 pounds, machine only. Look it up, Mechalek, MCR-10. Diamond C has a new little bit of technology down there at their manufacturer and the shipping facility. It's called a scale. They scale and weigh every one of their trailers as it leaves the lot. This trailer is 9,700 pounds. She's heavy. New engineer 2.0 beam. It's got a little bit more steel than the last ones. Very tough. Oak deck, a lot of weight right there. We have 34,000 pounds right at behind the truck. We're gonna see how it does. Like I said, max tow is 37,000. So we're gonna take this trip up the hill. I just wanna see how it pulls, which is the plain machine. And then we're gonna come back and load two vulture heads on it the way around 12 to 1500 pounds plus couplers we're gonna be right there and we're, we'll be right let's get I want to see how this thing does trucks this way <sighs> all right there's a couple things a disclaimer right off the kick this truck is virtually brand spanking new so his learning curve on the transmission, it hasn't had a chance to do what we're doing with it right now. So if I end up having to fall back to manual controls on this thing, that's, you know, it's whatever. We're seeing what the power is. We know the transmission's gonna learn and figure its stuff out as time goes on. Where's about the phone? Oh, it's even got the phone charger in the holster. Look at that. But this is tow test number one, controlled load, 34-ish thousand pounds, 33, just say that. It's over 30, we know We know that good and well. We got it set up, so we got the coolant temp, trans temp, oil temp, oil PSI looks all the same. Got a car coming. Tow haul, for this one, we're just gonna see what tow haul does. We're just gonna give her the beans. Don't break loose. second gear once it finds the gear and stays there we'll confirm but this thing also has different gear ratio than my truck oh all right just give her the meat and see her have her see if it'll pull third it tried it and went back 33 mile an hour I normally just leave it in second gear with the 5500 when I towed with the Ford I towed a machine that was a couple ton less than this so and it did about 35 mile an hour damn 37 mile an hour 38 mile an hour Two thousand RPM. I believe it's going to crest a hill at thirty-five because there's a little hump right there. I'd honestly prefer an engine that just sits at its happy torque value right in the center at a lower RPM and just pulls the hill nice and consistent. Then the way they got a uh, the cap chassis truck set up, those ones are just set up to be wound out, flat out. They got a really good tow rating with the low gear ratio, but they don't have the torque at low RPM like a high output does. And I need to adjust these mirrors. I, I, is there an option to get rid of these? Cause they, they're not that good. They, looks like I'm looking down a hallway out there. They're too small. Don't like them. Says there's a car over there. So at this point in time, we were able to pull third gear going up that hill and hold it, towing the Mechalek empty. So I'm gonna pull a quick U-turn right here, go back to the house, and we're gonna put max tow on this thing and be real close or right at 37,000 pounds. Just pull in right here, maybe a thumbnail, you know. Transmission temp, 170. Oh, damn. We got them trailer brakes too. We don't need them that high. We got a good trailer. 
two and a half on the trailer brakes. chat. I don't think I've ever gone this heavy on camera. <laughs> Put it out there. I think the heaviest I ever towed was 290 and too many attachments one time or two times and towed the Mechalek with all of its attachments the first round which probably wasn't quite this heavy. Each one of those mulcher heads weighs right about 1500 pounds. The Kubota doesn't lift anything more than 2000 pounds and it starts getting a little wonky and it was right there. So, total, 27,000-ish pounds on the deck, 10,000 pound trailer. That puts us at our 37,000 pound tow rating. We got the three inch ball on there, the three inch coupler. We got all our ratings. We got airbags, the truck's rated to tow for it. Doesn't have license plates yet, but whatever. I'm gonna grab me a fresh bottle of water I'm thinking it's not going to quite pull that hill in third gear, but if it does, good job. my videos consist of stuff that I'm already doing on a daily basis this video today is purely an experiment to see how this truck performs so if you guys could hit the like button I'd really appreciate that because I'm having fun but we're putting in some effort continue the video all right we're gonna go same hill except for continue on to town hit the highway go down it through some pretty steep stuff and then turn around and go and go back up it and that's Generally speaking, the big hill, the best we get out of it at the bottom is 60. No matter what, it just got a little bit of a hill right before it. But if we can pull this load up that hill and still be over 45, I'm going to be really happy. Put her in tow haul. Time to slam it. Oh, that's one thing they could take off these trucks. It's not a little car. We do not need hill assist. We need more boost. Some bitch is just pulling. Fully matted this time. The last time I was chicken putting it. If it pulls third before this next little crest, I'm gonna be pretty dang stoked. Oh, is it gonna do it? Nope, it's gonna have to hang it out to dry. Stay second, third gear. 33, 32 mile an hour. So this is about what the 5500 does it at. Just clapped out second gear. Oh, it's gonna try third. I told you that was more weight back there. Oh, I don't believe it. Is it gonna hold? Oh, <laughs> that last little bit of a hill. That little bit gotcha. All right, I don't wanna keep beating on the truck too much. If it can't hold it here, Oh, we're gaining momentum. Wow. 36 mile an hour. What do we get, 38 before it started losing it on the crest? No way. It downshifted. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> All right, it's easy sailing from here. Uh, Trans temp 167, oil 208, engine temp 215. It was working it right there. It almost held it in third gear. So close. This test right here is about as isolated and realistic of a tow test you can get with the truck being the fact brand new. There ain't nothing else added to it. In a realistic world, if this thing's a work truck, it's going to have a swift tank, full of fuel in the back, toolboxes, tools, 
shoot, you throw a handful of crescent wrenches that are oversized in the back of this truck, you're adding up the pounds pretty quick. Lunchbox, hard adds, it all adds up. This thing's got nothing. So this is gonna be what Dodge Ram would consider their tow test and your max GVWR of probably around 45,000 pounds or something. I don't know what the actual number on that is. I just know the tow rating. That's all the only part of the brochure I read. I said 37,000. I'll order the ball. Let's go. Uh, somebody forgot to clean a track out. That's not ideal. Hopefully it cleans out before somebody shows up. That side looks fine. Uh oh. Anyway, we're approaching our downhill descent. See how the old girl does. Should be just fine. Not too worried about it. We got good brakes on the truck and the trailer, and we have an engine brake. So you knock the cobwebs off all that dust back there. Sorry about that, folks. This is the baby hill compared to the steep one that we're gonna do, but this is where the money is. Not touching the foot pedals, just letting it do its thing, holding itself back, engine braking only. 2300 RPM, just walking. Keeping her at the speed limit. I still got a couple more gears to downshift if it got that sporty, but I ain't doing 75. Don't even tell me how fast I'm going. I suspect I gotta hit the brakes a couple of times going down this hill. Get her up to right now, we'll tap her. Do five mile an hour drops. I feel like in different areas, different necks of the woods, different states and stuff, there will be a, a popular brand of truck. And around here, I'm gonna say at least seven out of 10 rigs that are actually towing are Dodges. There's one right there. I just saw an older 450 go by and that old boy didn't have a trailer. I see so many 450s, the 2020 pluses, that are not towing a trailer. I think if Dodge came out with this truck with the wide stance front end, the 19.5s, a little bigger brakes, like 450, over glow fire at 3,500. I think if they came out with something like that for this truck, it would probably, you know, clean the table with just sales. I'm very happy with how this truck's performing, pulling these hills. This is heavy. Folks talk about towing heavy with their truck. This is the max that you're supposed to tow with one of these things, and it can handle more. I've hardly touched the brakes. It hasn't had to rev to the moon trying to pull these hills, and they're pretty good hills. It's keeping it right at 50, third gear coming down that grade. Not bad. That's a gas guzzling hill right there, but it gets worse. Hopefully this light stays green for us. Oh, it should. We got opposing traffic. Yeah, boy. All right, passing Pennsylvania Drive, heading down what the old timers call Pet Hill. Got her in fourth. I got a couple cars behind me. Unfortunately for them, I'm going to take this nice and easy. I think fourth gear should be what we need. But we got third. Yeah, I think it's a third gear. Kind of a hit. We need to hit the brakes just a little bit. I like to have a controlled descent. Be able to hold back this kind of weight on this kind of a hill. It's pretty impressive. I'll let her go one more mile an hour and then I'll, there we go. Hit the brakes twice coming down this. I think we'll go ahead, see if this one likes to upshift under that kind of a strain. Yep, there we go. Once they get locked into that high RPM, they just kind of like to hover there. Hit the brakes one more time just to be nice for this corner. It's such a, a level of comfort having an engine brake like that. It takes a lot of workload off your service brakes, and it's just so much more comfortable to drive. Like right now, I don't have to ride the brakes, it's holding itself back. Nothing to play around with not having an engine brake. There, that extra horsepower. You can feel like the turbo hitting like it's a tune. You know what I mean? I'm gonna pull into this restaurant right here. It's 
where I make my U-turn on these test drives and then let this slight line of cars go by. This thing is, it's a treat to drive. I'll say that much. It holds itself back and it's got plenty of power. I got the trailer brakes on too. Might have could have turned that to two and a half for that hard stop right there, but I didn't want to be too dependent on the trailer brakes coming down that hill. I wanted the truck to do some of the work like it should. What's this place? All right, let's hop out and see how everything's doing. I don't see any smoke because I didn't hardly touch the brakes. You can feel the torque out of this thing like if it were, like it's got a, a torque kind of uh, grunt to it that the 5500 just doesn't have. Even my Fortune 3500, it doesn't quite have enough. It's got more power than uh, my 5500 and it's quite a few years older. What was that? Sounded like it hit the jakes for me. But this one, it, it vibrates when it's pulling hard. Yeah, we're not even, nothing even got hot here. Uh, you guys recognize this spot? This is where, uh, second time I met Tavit. He brought up his 2020 when he first got, oh, is that a 10? What is it? Three eighths, cool. Dude, what a stallion. talking to Tavit about this truck just now and uh yeah somebody I like the mirrors I don't, I don't like the mirrors I don't like them I like the power don't like the mirrors what a, what a prop, prop. I'm glad that Ryan put some airbags on this thing that makes such a difference am I on the road probably See if I can catch old semi right here. This might have jinxed our run, but nah. He's got plenty of lead time. I don't know, man. I guess we need to start pouring some coal to it. I can hear the turbo. I looked under the hood, she's stock. It's got two alternators though. Whatever that's for. Son of a gun, we're gonna catch that semi. van pulled over oh no come on man just stay off the road i don't want to burn five gallons of diesel a second trying to pull this hill again why why would he even pull back on the road all right we're gonna let him we're gonna let him lie because this truck's got enough down here in the flats to make up for it but I doubt that van's gonna do anything that we like. This is actually a hill right here. It's hard to tell, but the truck knows it. Oh, nice third gen Laramie, how you doing? All right, let's see if we can get our 60 out of it. Had to upshift. Just this corner right here and then that's a little bit of a hill. This thing ain't even gonna get 60 out of it. Yep, nope. Go on. One more digit. There's your 60. what I tell you? Every truck. Every load. Oh, 61. Good job, truck. We need this Subaru to... Oh, it's gonna mess us all up. Subaru. Do we got enough to pass this guy? I want to get around him just on the fact of I don't trust this guy. He just was kicking rocks. 52. I'm a little bit nervous right now. My foot is on the floor. We are touching the radiator. Coming over, guy. 45. <laughs> 44 oh no why don't you hover a little closer to this truck guy it's not mine 43 I told you 42 oh no <laughs> I 
you could take off about 7,000 pounds is what I towed up this with uh, tow pilgrims rig. It was 41. Wow, that's, I mean, that's still pretty impressive. That is a huge hill. Engine temp, 217. Trans temp, 168, right in the money. And then oil temp, 221. It's cooling off immediately, too. It's already down to 210, look at that. Coming up that grade, towing the Prime Tech with the new truck is like 35. So this truck definitely got a little bit more in the pants than my rig, but what a hill. I got no real problem somebody going slow. Might be the only vehicle, might be headed to the shop with it. I don't know, they're barely putting. But this garbage back here, stop tailgating me. She saw that I pulled the camera out, so she Goofy people. And you think, I'm not trying to sound materialistic, like how much a setup like this costs and all that, but there's years of my soul that has been sacrificed to obtain this stuff. Man, ain't my truck. If people want to tailgate, put me in a position where we could bump uglies. I don't, I don't care for that. So we just putt putt. That's why a nice truck's got exhaust brake. They don't know you're hitting the brakes. We can make that happen. Oh, there happened to be a car. There might be another one. There might be another one. Where am I going? Where am I? Oh, oh we gotta wait for this car. I gotta use the other lane. See what happens to you dumb dude stuff? God dang. Trying to think of anything to complain about on it. The mirrors, I don't really care for the mirrors. I don't know why they did that. People can't make fun of them for the moose anymore, but now they got something that's not that good. But other than that, the truck did very, very well. For towing that amount of weight, that's not playing. Look at that diamond C, it's still got the arch to it. You gotta put a lot of weight on that arch to make it flat, let me tell you what. That's, uh, that trailer's rated to haul on the deck 30,000 pounds. So we're real close to that, and it's still maintaining this arch. Let's talk about the truck a little bit before we wind this video down. Great power. Exhaust brake worked perfect. It surprised me on a couple hills, and then it didn't quite do as well up head hill as I was thinking, but granted, that's got even more weight than I've ever towed up that hill with any of the trucks, and it pulled it at 41 42 so slightly under what i was expecting other than that sucker ran great the temperatures stayed nice and calm right where they should be which is what you expect out of a hundred thousand dollar truck a couple things to note on it though whoever ordered this truck buddy ryan didn't order it he said the guy backed out of his order but the guy didn't put a backup camera on the third brake light so hooking up the gooseneck was miserable i couldn't believe it with the tonneau cover rolled up, I couldn't see nothing. It took me like five minutes when it should have taken three seconds. But overall, thank you very much, Ryan, for letting me run this truck. That's how it works around here, guys. This is a real world channel. How we get a test drive stuff is if we buy it. Tow tests and stuff like this. Every once in a while, we get a lucky break and somebody else we know, like Tow Piglet back in the day, he stepped in and let us drive his rental Ford. And that was awesome. That was a fun trip. But 99% of the time, how we get to drive these rigs is we go on buy them. So, somebody in close network is actually my neighbor's truck. So, thanks to the neighbor, appreciate it. We've got a test drive truck with trailer. The tow test, fully completed, passed all everything I was expecting. Except for backup camera, but he's working on that. If you guys want to see more videos on this truck, comment it below. But thank you guys so much for watching. This thing is scheduled to get 19 fives. And I think he's going to go 34 inch tires. Just give him a nice little bit of meat. Yeah, it's going to hurt the tow rating, but he stepped up into semi-class size equipment. So this thing realistically would never see that, but I like it. It's a nice truck. What if they make a 
pattern adapter so I can put these on my 04. That was some nice wheels on it. We'll see. Thanks guys for watching. Go over to Ryan's page. I'll put it right here. Follow him up. See all kinds of cool stuff he's got going on. And comment below. Thank you, Ryan, so much for letting us drive your 2023 20, high output. Ram 3500. Cummins Turbo Dacial. 410 gear ratio. Airbag added. All the good stuff. Now I got to get this all unloaded.